Uh, oh, I gotta put on my uni for this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, who you with? I'm with the team. To be the champ. By any means. Hey, what we do? We win together. Win together. Too many rings. Too many rings. Who do it better? Yeah. Running and running and running and running and running and running. We won't stop. Competition got them on lock. Shut them down. Open up shop. Yeah, up 20 with the top spot. Oh, I gotta put on my uni for this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, who you with? I'm with the team. To be the champ. By any means. Hey, what we do? We win together. Too many rings. Who do it better? Welcome to a brand new week. Here on Glory Pro Wrestling Ascend, if you're tuning in, you can see us all the way around the world. Caffeine TV, YouTube, High Spots TV, Wrestling Spotlight on Local Now, and True TV Plus, and all of our viewers are seeing soon to be one of the baddest men on planet Earth. That is the silverback Jabari King as he makes his way out to ringside here at the Casa Loma Ballroom, an imposing physical presence. And the scary part is he just keeps getting better. Saw recently on a send a matchup with a former Crown of Glory champion, Camaro Jackson, where Jabari King gave him everything he could handle, and then some. There is a bright, bright future for the powerhouse standing in the far corner of the ring. His opponent, no slouch either. The future of flight, the man who makes the Wright brothers look like a couple of tinkerers, Kenny Alfonso. One of the most brilliant aerial artists that you will see in professional wrestling. And if you like clash of style matchups, boy, have you got one of the best on your hands right here. The size and the strength advantage, the way of the giant, the silverback Jabari King. Speed, athleticism, and in-ring experience. The way of one half of Alpha Omega, Kenny Alfonso. He is poetry in motion. And he looks ready to go. He looks in the best shape I have ever seen Kenny Alfonso. And that's saying something, like somebody carved him out of stone. He is known as second to none for a reason. Kenny Alfonso has to take a back seat to no one inside of the squared circle. This contest is set for one fall. Introducing first from Kansas City, Missouri, weighing 178 pounds, he is second to none, Kenny Alfonso. His opponent from U City, USA, 320 pounds, the silverback Jabari King. And both these competitors are going to have a lot of crowd support. Kansas City for Kenny Alfonso, U City for the silverback. And right away, Kenny Alfonso, and that's got to be the game plan. He will take to the air against Jabari King with a pair of drop kicks, driving him back to the corner. Alfonso, shotgun style drop kick. And Jabari King backed into the buckles. Alfonso down to a knee, he'll fly. And Jabari King takes him up over to the apron. 
Oh, Alfonso got a whole bunch of momentum into that forearm. He'll elevate back into the ring, but he's caught. King! Oh! <laughs> belly to belly with an overhead release and a snap. Look at the outside leg, count of one, and that's all he's gonna get. Oh, the power of Jabari King. This young competitor is something special inside of a Glory Pro ring. We are seeing the very beginning of an ascension. Oh, oh, that chop as he goes to the chest of Kenny Alfonso. And you look at what success in Glory Pro Wrestling has driven others to. Camaro Jackson is becoming known all over the wrestling world. Xavier Walker in that line. And now Kenny Alfonso and Jabbar King, who is currently taking it to Kenny Alfonso with a boot across the collarbone in the corner. And Jabari King backs out. Jabari King, an interesting customer in that he will bend the rules, but I'm yet to see Jabari King really outright break rules. He'll use the official's count to his advantage as he goes high, high vertical suplex. And he's just holding Kenny. He could hold Kenny Alfonso up there all day. We might be signing on for the next week of Glory Pro Ascend before he puts him down. Count of 20, and thank goodness he could have kept going. Hook of the outside leg after all the blood rush to the head of Alfonso, and he's out at almost two. Oh, and there you see the strength of Jabari King. One hand underneath the chin, the other on the top of the head, palming Kenny Alfonso's head as if it were a basketball. Jabari King putting all kinds of pressure on that neck. I'll say the same thing about Jabari King I've said about Xavier Walker for years. How do you look at him and not see money? Down to the body. A couple of shots from Alfonso. Kick to the leg. Kenny's going to hit the ropes. Fly in and booted to the midsection. You see money in the future from Jabari King. He's in there against a man who is money in Kenny Alfonso. You know what you're going to get every single night. Alfonso steps into the ring, count of two, and Kenny's out. But Kenny right now in some trouble with this monster. There are very few in the world of pro wrestling I enjoy watching more than Kenny Alfonso and his aerial artistry. Oh, but he is not able to use it right now when the silverback is trying to cave in your chest. From the corner, Jabari King fires him across. Avalanche, he followed him right in. The speed and agility on Jabari King for a man that size is downright scary. King to the corner. Alfonso gets the boot up. Seated on the top rope. He'll fly, King caught him. Beautiful suplex over the top into a pin in combination. Two and three quarters. T-bones are on the menu. And that was a T-bone straight into a pinfall. That was beautiful. Shabari King backing Kenny Alfonso to the ropes. Holds on and delivers the knee. And you see every strike that Jabari lands. It is landed with so much force. It just drives the wind right out of Kenny Alfonso. Ends up seated down on that bottom rope. And King not giving him a moment's rest. Oh, Kenny held on that time. Rolled through, but he can't get the big man. Mistake made by Jabari King. Maybe the first one in the matchup. And the snap of his neck, the whiplash, as Kenny Alfonso hit that drop kick. Count being put in, up to two. Jabari King making his way back to his feet. King first man up, Alfonso still getting the bearings. And maybe taking a little bit too long, King sets. Alfonso landed on his feet. Drop kick down to the knee. Alfonso, kick, out of the way is King. Second time out of the way is King. Third time, caught the foot. Kenny, oh, spinning back kick, landed it right on the point of the jaw. Alfonso calling to go upstairs. He'll elevate. What has he got in mind? We know that Kenny Alfonso can do just about anything from up there. Well, not when you're goozled by Jabari King, though. Oh, what a move by Kenny Alfonso. Diving down to the floor. Taking that shoulder across the rope. Code breaker. Kenny Alfonso looking to get back to his feet. He feels momentum here. 
Alfonso inside out. Oh, King caught him. Jabari King caught him. Take him to the ropes. Oh, Alfonso out of the way. Sent King to that middle rope. Going to go inside out again. And that time he landed it. In for a slice. Brad counted two and three. What a win. Kenny Alfonso capitalized on every little mistake Jabari King made, and there weren't many. The window was left cracked just open enough. He is second to none, especially with a win like that. We open this week of Ascend with a great performance from Kenny Alfonso. We start with fresh shredded lettuce. Add in thin-sliced local tomatoes. Every sandwich gets topped with our secret recipe sauce, cage sauce. All these elements top our steakhouse quality beef and American cheese to create the chopped cheese, a standard above the rest, only from Central State Sandwiches. Quality. Introducing Smack Talk Showdown. Fulfill your dreams of becoming a professional wrestler. You and your friends adopt the most wild personas, give outrageous promos, and feel the burn as you tear into the mic and into your best friends with Smack Talk Showdown. This is the only party game where smack talking isn't just encouraged, it's required. Watch as friendships are tested, alliances are formed, and laughter is guaranteed. It's time to wrestle with words. Get ready for the ultimate smack talking experience, Smack Talk Showdown. Let the smack talking begin. Visit smacktalkshowdown.com, second edition available now. Uh, oh, I gotta put on my uni for this. Yeah, yeah, hey, who you with? I'm with the team to be the champ by any means. Hey, what we do? We win together. Too many rings. Who do it better? Oh, it's the new guys. Jake Bosch out front, the man who appears to have downed seven Red Bulls before coming through the curtain. And on the ring apron, you see their opponents, Cordell Kane and IP Mason. That's Jake Bosch in the sunglasses. Maybe it was eight Red Bulls tonight. Scott Stanley, his tag team partner, actually had a chat on social media with Scott Stanley just recently, who let me know that he was in fact a baseball pitcher, which makes sense as to the right hand in which he can throw. And Jake Bosch, a man out of my own heart, wearing the hockey jersey on his way in, and they get jumped! Scott Stanley's gonna be tossed out of the ring. Jake Bosch sent across the ropes. Bosch down to the canvas in the corner, diving in, and Kane and Mason have taken the advantage. Back to the corner, looking for another opportunity, and oh, Bosch on the receiving end of the corner, cannonball. Quick tags from our newcomers here. And already, I am impressed with Cordell Kane and IP Mason, who are taking an opportunity in this matchup. And what would be a big upset if they could knock off the new guys. The new guys trying to bounce back from a loss of the Premier and what was a brilliant tag team combination as those teams are on the road to the Road Warrior Cup. Can't wait for that here on Glory Pro Wrestling Ascend. Tag Team Wrestling has always had a very welcome place in my heart as Jake Bosch in big trouble in his corner. Across the ring, beautiful forearm is landed on Bosch. And right now the new guys are seemingly in a lot of trouble as Cordell Kane holds Bosch in the corner. Mason drives in. Bosch caught him up and over the top. And the tag is made to Scott Stanley. 
Stanley's into the ring. Kane, snap back with the German suplex. Mason charges out of the way of Stanley. He'll drive in with the shoulder block and then elevate him release on the Northern Lights. Spear! Stanley drops Kane! Jake Bosch wants the tag back in and I think there might be a little bit of revenge to extract. Forearm lands on Mason. Knife edge chop, little do -si do from the new guys. Oh! <laughs> Did you see that bicycle kick? Jake Bosch just took IP Mason, or pardon me, took Cordell Kane and nearly landed his dome in Mississippi. Elevating, power bomb neck breaker. Are you kidding me? Count it two, the new guys have it. Well, I've talked a lot about guys who are on the climb in professional wrestling. There is going to come a time and a day when we look back at the beginning of the new guys and think, wow, because these two are going to stand on top of the tag team mountain at some point. Athleticism at a premium for these two. Skill inside the ring, IQ, little bit of everything. The new guys, victorious, they're on their way to the Road Warrior Cup, and I wouldn't bet against them. take from me again. This isn't about a championship, is it? This is about the fact you've always been intimidated by me. You've always been afraid of what I'm capable of. You used to treat me as a joke. I was always the butt of your jokes. When we were neck and neck on the independent level, I was the butt of your jokes whenever I had a national spotlight. And now you're trying to turn me into the butt of your jokes yet again. I think at one point I considered you a friend. Remember when you needed somebody to carry you? Do you remember when you broke your leg? You needed someone to carry you up those hospital steps? Who did that? Who carried you through an airport to make sure you got home to your wife in one piece? I did that. You couldn't return the favor, could you? When I was having crisis, I was having a mental breakdown, whenever I needed help, where were you? I couldn't pick up a phone. I couldn't reach out. So there was nothing in it for you. There was nothing to take, was there? Sometimes I wonder what this means. Sometimes I feel like it doesn't belong to me. Sometimes I feel like it belongs to everybody but me. I'm not gonna let you take it. You've already taken enough from me, Dan House. This is the last thing you'll ever get a chance to take from me. It's not gonna slip from my hands. That's just something you need to hear.
I gotta put on my unis for this. Yeah, yeah. Hey, who you with? I'm with the team. To be the champ. By any means. Hey, what we do? We win together. Too many rings. Who do it better? It's main event time wherever you're viewing us from across the world on Caffeine TV, YouTube, High Spots TV, Local Now's Wrestling Spotlight, and True TV Plus. And oh, it's going to feel like being an air traffic controller for this one. You see ATM slide in, Mr. All That Matters. He'll team with Dan the Dead and the Southern Flamingo, Cody Lane. That's an interesting combination as they look uh, to take on Cinco and the crew. Mason St. Good's in the back. Mike Outlaw closest to your screen. They're joined by Raheem Della Suede, Ben Oyors. Set for one fall. Tonight's bouts have 30 minute time limits. Introducing first, accompanied to the ring by Cinco, the team of Raheem De La Suede, Mason St. Good's, and Mike Outlaw, the One of the most dangerous forces in professional wrestling today. The crew, led by that man on the apron, Cinco. The team of the Southern Flamingo, Cody Coco Lane. The money maker, ATM. And your father's favorite wrestler, Dan the Dad. Three favorites of the St. Louis crowd. And boy, is it ever interesting to see Cody Lane Teaming up with Dan the Dad, these two have had... <laughs> hey, Cody Lane, playing some mind games early. That's just Coco, sugar. <laughs> My good friend, Cody Lane. Got to see he and Dan the Dad at Alpha One Wrestling in Hamilton, Ontario, live and in person not that long ago. And, boy, it had been years since I'd actually gotten to see them, and... Uh, Boy, had I ever missed those two guys. Two of my absolute favorite people in the world. Great to see Cody Lane has uh, had to turn the attitude around. And now he and Dan the Dad, who have battled one another, now on the same side. Although when it comes to fighting off the crew, it is going to take all hands on deck. And I've said it before, you can dislike the tactics and the style and whatever you may dislike about Cinco and the crew. You cannot deny they are an incredible force. Mason St. Goods, the young lion for this group. Raheem De La Suede, who has held the United Glory Tag Team titles with two different partners. And that man, Mike Outlaw, who has held the Crown of Glory Championship, the Midwest Territory Championship, unified those titles, and the United Glory Tag Team Championship. He is a triple crown winner in Glory Pro. Oh, and by the way, Calvin Tankman, a member of the crew. So, yeah, as Mike Outlaw squaring off with the moneymaker, and these two know each other real, real well. Outlaw charges, ATM on the go behind. Off the ropes. Outlaw ducked down, ATM over. Outlaw leapfrog, beautifully done. Oh, reverse leapfrog by ATM. Got him with the drop kick. Gorgeous. Side headlock, takeover. Down to the canvas, and ATM's gonna wrench it in. Outlaw back to his feet and into the corner. Damn, the dad is still drinking coffee or whatever is in that mug. I asked him what was in the mug. Oh, he's spilling. A little bit of a spilly uh, headlocker. Is that what that is? Down to the body goes Mike Outlaw, and a second time. I asked Dan what was in the mug. He told me that's dad's secret. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Off the rope, shoulder block lands. Dan, off the ropes. He goes over the... Now how does Dan do it without spilling? Oh, hello! Inverted atomic drop. Into the corner seats. When somebody else touches the mug, it spills. When Dan does it, never a drop. He's a pro. Booting him down to the canvas. And now, wait, Coco wants in. Wait a minute. Cody Lane. Stepping across the collarbone of Mike Elwon, taking a swig. And now he's been hammering down. And wait, ATM. They're sharing the mug. What is this? ATM stepping in. 
He just chugged the mug. And it's boots once again from ATM. And now it's going to come all the way back around and Dan the Dad. Gets Michael Law up to the feet. Front face lock. Oh, a lot down to the body. Dan off the ropes and Mason St. Good steps in with the knee. Wait a minute, he stole the mug. You can't do that. As Dan hammers Mason St. Good's off the ring apron. Raheem holding the mug. Oh, he just, he threw whatever was in there to the eyes of Dan the Dad. Back elbow from Mike Outlaw. And then Outlaw clobbers Lane and ATM on the apron. Oh, referee. There's got to be something here. As Outlaw over to the corner. Trips Dan the Dad down, and now I think we know what's going to happen. It's going to be a little goose and gander type action as the crew starts to hammer away with the boots, and they are a finely tuned machine. Mason St. Goods gets in there. And he'll finish the trio. Booting away at Dan the Dad on the canvas. Snap suplex. Landed. Count of one. And a half. Dan the Dad gets out of there quick. Doesn't change the fact, though, that Dan on the wrong side. He needs to get over to his partners. He needs to find a way over to Cody Lane and ATM here. He is caught in the wrong part of town as Raheem De La Suede checks in. Left hand to the body from Raheem. He'll step in with the shoulder block. Now lefts and rights to the body. Raheem De La Suede for, yeah, some of the nonsense. He is tremendous inside the squared circle. He's a brilliant athlete. And now opening up to the body, lefts and rights from Raheem De La Suede. Those are close fists. Dan's gonna be black and blue. Into the corner, Raheem flies in. Mike Outlaw tags in. Avalanche forearm in the corner. Belly to back suplex. Beautiful execution. Off the ropes, Mason St. Goods drops the knee. Raheem will follow. We've seen this before. Handstand leg drop. Raheem, well, he's not going to get that. Kind of two before Dan kicks out. That wasn't about trying to get the victory. That was about trying to show up Dan the dad is what that was. Raheem De La Suede. Grabbing hold of the neck of Dan the dad and hammering down to his back. Dan sent off to the corner. Oh, he hit hard. And Dan is down to a knee. Mason St. Goods will tag back in. St. Goods pulls Dan up to his feet. Fired him down into the stomach. And a second time. And St. Goods will back off. Oh, back elbow from Dan. Then a right hand lands. Mason charges. Boot up to the mush. Oh, Dan's got the mug. That's a mug he wants to chug. Jab and a trio. Make it four, five, and six. Dan opening up. Firing away on Mason St. Goods, whose head looks like a speed bag. Duck underneath as St. Goods tried it. <laughs> Mug's empty. DDT. He spiked him. Like somebody might have spiked that mug. Rolling to the corner. Dan the Dad reaching out. Trying to get to either Cody Lane or ATM. Tag in, Mike Outlaw steps through. He'll boot ATM down. Cody Lane able to slide out of the way. Dan makes the tag. In comes Cody Lane. Lane ducks under the clothesline, takes both men off the apron. Lane downstairs on Outlaw. Elevates, double boot to the back. Cody Lane turns, he'll shovel him back to the ropes. Pop up, power bomb. Cody Lane on fire. Off the ropes. He'll dive through to the floor and take out St. Goods and Raheem. Like bowling pins, the crew go down. Cody Lane. That's why they've referred to him as Daddy Long Legs in the past. The kick, slingshot sent on. Count of one, two, he's, no, almost had the three. Coco right back up to his feet. ATM, who had been blasted down, now being called in. 
To my knowledge, this is the first time that ATM, Cody Lane, and Dan the Dad have worked as a six-man tag team. Hasn't looked half bad. Oh, the crew catches Mike Outlaw on the ropes. Sliding drop kicks, takes out Raheem and Mason. But watch out, charging! Up and over the top and throw to the floor goes Mike Outlaw. Everybody on the floor. And now ATM, he would be the resident flyer. ATM's gonna swing over the top to the floor. ATM hoisting up Mike Elwall. He's gonna toss him right back into the ring. Right into the clutches of Cody Lane. It's Coco's time to shine. Oh, from the shoulders, down. Cody Lane signaling something to ATM. Cody's going first, tried that. Slingshot moonsault, didn't work. Mason St. Goods, oh, rewind knee strike, landed right on the money. Now it's Mike Outlaw, flies back in with the forearm. He dropped him, count one, two, and Cody Lane's out. Cody Lane showing great resilience. Mason St. Goods over there, Mike Outlaw in there. Mason's gonna slide in next. Front chancery. Pops Cody back up to his feet. I'll try to fire him in, and Cody was limp. Now Mike's got him. Tried perhaps that rolling neck breaker. Instead, heads clash. Cody Lane's kick is caught. Used it to step up right into Mason. Then fires Mike Elwell back into the corner. Turn around! Oh! Knee strike lands from Raheem De La Suede. Suplex turned into a brain buster by Mason St. Goods. And then, hail to the king, perhaps! Got him. The elbow drop lands, the crew piles on, and it's broken up. Dog pile knocked off as Dan the Dad and ATM both get back in. Cinco complaining that it looked like three. It was not. But everybody down. Oh, what a main event here. The Castelloma Ballroom being treated to. Out of the way is ATM. Oh, what a super kick. Rattled the jaw of Raheem De La Suede. Tilt a world power slam from Mason St. Goods. Oh, that was pretty sweet. And the dad charges in, forearm strike lands. Off the ropes, oh, Mason followed him. Caught him with the back elbow. Dan, duck underneath, swings him through, up to that top rope, sweeps him down. Elevating him for that flatliner. Mike Outlaw back in, Outlaw ducks underneath. Full Nelson slam. Outlaw hung on. Pendulum suplex. Last man back in those, Cody Lane. Cody gets a boot up. Knife edge chop, a second. Make it three. Oh, Mike Outlaw steps up with the enziguri behind the ear. Cody Lane won't give up on it. Back senton. From a standing position, he did that. Double under hooks. Could be the J driller as, oh, Raheem De La Suede up on the ring apron. He'll throw the forearm. Duck, go behind from Cody Lane, almost ran them into one another. Bicycle kick, sends Raheem into the aisle way. Mike Outlaw's still there. Go behind, standing switch, back elbow. Oh, that had some snap on it. And the dad, oh, he was up on the ring apron. Outlaw got out of the way. Cody caught Dan. German suplex lands. I believe there was a blind tag though from ATM. Mason St. Goods will step in. St. Goods is over to Cody Lane, it's the wrong man. I'm positive ATM made a tag on the backside. Mason out to the ring apron. Cody Lane charges, Mason gets the shoulder block down. Up over the top, he'll fly. Cody rolls through, ATM, caught him, jackknife, two, got it! Now oh, a little bit of trickeration. Oh, and you had to see this coming. The crew got outsmarted, and suddenly it's the attack of the Vultures. Cody's got a chair. And Dan back in with the belt. As they clear everybody away from ATM. What a victory. I have seen titles change hands on that jackknife pinfall style, and ATM used it right there. 
to blindside the crew. They outsmarted them that time. The blind tag from ATM, the dive in, and they pick up the one, two, three. Dan, Cody, ATM, what a team this week on Ascend. Hey, who 